Hi, if you're new here, my name's Samara and I review luxury handbags and jewellery and occasionally I'll show you how to look and feel expensive. I'm introducing the latest addition to my handbag collection. It's a small Lady Dior bag in tan carnage lambskin. And in this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on this stunning piece and talking about the recent price increase. This is probably the most satisfying part of all. Dior do the most beautiful packaging. The ribbons feel so luxurious. And when you open up the box, they've put so much tissue in it to protect the side of the bag, which I think is a nice little touch. It comes within its own dust bag. Oh my goodness, I'm getting excited just opening it up right now. So yes, you can see she is such a stunner. <laughs> you can tell from my high pitched voice. But this is what she looks like. It's got the elegant design all around the bag. I'm just going to close the box, move this out of the way so that we can have a look at the bag in more detail. So like I said, this is the Colour Tan Carnage and it is in the size small. you always wrap their charm in a little pouch like this so it avoids it from scratching. So as you can see, there's the plastic on the letter O but the other small little letters are not wrapped in plastic. The one thing you will know is that the charms will actually scratch over time. It'd be lovely if you could just leave the plastic on, but I think if I do that, it'll do some damage to the hardware. So I just want to talk about the capacity of the bag. Although it's small from inside, it still fits in your essentials. So it's not the most practical of bags, but you could fit your card holder, hand cream, lipstick and phone. But if you're looking for something a bit more practical, then this bag may not be for you. I think it's definitely worth it for me because I'm going to be wearing a lot of neutral colours coming into autumn, winter. And I feel like this bag can transform from day to evening. During the daytime with white t-shirt and jeans, evening with just a nice little dress. I think it will look just fantastic. Because of the structure and the elegance of the bag, I think it can work both ways. Inside the bag is lined with a suede lining throughout. So at the moment, the straps are in there. Once you take it out, there's a tissue at the bottom of the bag. And I tend to leave that in there only so that it protects the bottom. And I know if I don't have that in there, my bag will get really filthy and dirty. So just to give it that longevity, I usually keep that tissue in there, but just for the sake of this video, I'll take it out because I want to show you this side zipper of the bag. You have to kind of pull the bag a little bit wider just to get in there because it is a little bit tight. So now I'm going to try and put the straps on. I was told that you have to do it in a specific way. And in the other small bags, you could always get straps that you can personalize with three letters, I think it is. But I didn't really want to do that because I felt like it takes away from the actual bag. So there is a way to put the straps on. You have to attach the clasp to the outer side of the bag in one angle and the other strap you have to do it in a diagonal that way the bag is balanced equally it's pretty easy to actually slide on i think the thickness of the clasp makes it that much easier and it's probably why i chose this kind of bag because in the evening i could just use the handles and during the daytime for more of a relaxed look i definitely would wear the straps and even if you're going to wear it without the straps, you have enough space under the handles to put your arms through. And one thing I wanted to show you was, I wasn't, which I wasn't aware of, um, is that the letters of the handles actually spell out C and D. I thought that was a nice little touch to the handbag. So let's address the price increase that's happened recently. It's probably happened about over two months ago. And as you know, a lot of luxury brands increase their prices periodically and Dior is no exception. So even though it is like a 10% price increase on the Lady Dior small bag, it's important to consider that the value and the craftsmanship that comes with it. So despite the price increase, the Lady Dior bag, in my opinion, still remains a timeless investment piece that will elevate any outfit. The last thing I got was a little, they're not called twillies, that's for Hermes, but this is a little ribbon that will go on the bag. I thought this was quite cute because even if I've not got it on the bag, I put it on my hair as well. So so having one of the ribbons wrapped around the handles is a good way to prevent the handles from dropping all the time. It doesn't stop it, but it prevents it. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for my video next week.